in one of the uh, no code cohorts that i run one of the participant asked an interesting question can you really build a true marketplace using no code tools and that's a very interesting question what is a true marketplace a true marketplace is a platform which facilitates buyers and sellers so sellers set the price and buyers buy from them and as a platform you just facilitate this transaction and take a commission out of each payment now that got me thinking so in addition to zero code club i also have product iv which is a place where i have courses for product management people to learn about product management uh, one of the long term roadmaps that i had for product iv was uh, you know building a coaching marketplace where uh, product leaders can come and register as coaches and uh, students or other product managers who want to get coached can find coaches and uh, book their services and so on so enabling this kind of marketplace uh, was a good use case so i could do two things one build a new feature for product iv and two also show to one of my students that you can really build marketplaces using no code so this is not a new idea this has already been uh, built elsewhere for example exponent has a coaching marketplace where you know you can you know uh, search for coaches filter them by roles company and you know select a specific coach choose the number of sessions you want and book a session from a specific coach so for this for building this i the tool stack that i used was a software for front end air table in the back end for storing the data integromat for running the workflow and then stripe connect to facilitate this payment so building the front end was relatively easy software is one of the better no code platforms out there in fact my go to no code platform always because it has all the functionality and enables very quick and easy uh, creation of uh, applications so all i had to do is uh, drag and drop a few things uh, you know drag and drop you know uh, dynamic lists and uh, and voila the front end of it was relatively easily created so if you look at it I have nearly similar view. I just have to replace the image here and will match uh, try exponent. I also have listing of coaches. I have two pictures here of myself listed as coaches here, and I can filter by expertise, filter by role, similar to what we see here. Filter by role, filter by uh, company. They don't have a search, but I also have a search, so we're doing one better. And then you know they can book a specific coach's service, so that's what I'm I can do here as well. So I can book for a specific coach's service here. Uh, so let's take uh, you know persona number one, who is an experienced product leader, and they want to sign up as a coach. So the first thing that you'll do is sign up as a coach here, and the moment someone does it, uh, you will be able to enter. Uh, the details about you. I'm going to say I am a great coach and I'm going to search and upload a picture of mine. So I'm going to reuse a picture that I've already uploaded. Uh, maybe I'm going to go for this picture and then I'm going to choose my role area of expertise and I'm going to onboard myself. So at this point when I click onboard a bunch of integromat steps are being called and uh, now what, let me show what happens. So once I click on board, this is the Integromat step that is called. So I have created a webhook in uh, Integromat and then I'm calling a bunch of APIs. The first API is to create a connected account in Stripe. The second API is to link that connected account with me. The third API is to update the Airtable record with the URL uh, that will help uh, with onboarding. So I'm getting the onboarding URL from Stripe and adding it to Airtable and then I'm sending that uh, you know uh, data back to software so the user has been onboarded and I have a link from Stripe to on complete the onboarding so I click onboard now I'm taken to Stripe and here I can enter my details so I have added uh, Test. This is the Stripe test account that I'm using for testing. So once I've entered all of the details, I'm clicking done. And just like that, this particular user is going to get added as a connected account in Stripe and has also successfully onboarded as a new coach, as you can see here. 
So now let me sign out and then sign in as a different user. And I'm going to go into the coaching platform. So now I have logged in and I'm going to select and I'm going to book a specific service from here. Uh, and it's asking in how many sessions I'd like to book. Uh, choosing uh, a few details here and click book. Now again, a bunch of Integrum app processes are happening here through which I'm calling a series of API calls. Now it's going to the next step where, you know, I might fill this up later with the details relevant to this transaction. But here, you know, I'm going to make the payment uh, for this particular transaction. So I've got this Stripe thing here. Uh, I can make this payment. I can look at the invoice details. And once a payment is done, it will be redirected back to Product IV. So that's the entire process uh, of you know setting up a true marketplace in Product IV. And you can think of many other use cases here. Let's say you are running a business like Airbnb where someone can register and then list their you know house. And then on the other hand, you have you know people who are looking for houses and they can you know rent that house for some period of time. And you as a platform is just you know getting some commission out of this transaction. Uh, and the other integrumat scenario that I have is for the payment. Uh, you know when someone wants to take coaching services, so I catch the form submission, add the details, you know, search for the specific record in Airtable make a bunch of Stripe API calls. The first one is about creating a customer, then I'm creating an invoice item, then I'm creating an invoice, then I'm finalizing a draft invoice, then I'm adding the link to Airtable and then presenting, sending the link back to the, redirecting to the uh, user to a specific uh, website. So this is two integrumate scenarios that you know make all of this possible.